Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. We had a reversal in the markets this week, which were based upon apparently the Fed announcements. So here's some of the alerts. Notice being up in the overbought area, we had the potential of a J-hook pattern breaking out through the resistance level, except the next day it did a tweezer top, which is basically two levels of approximately the same in the uh, trading, two days trading, that it failed, but the big alert was that when they came back down through the open of this candle that broke out to the upside, that told you the bulls had failed, that we were now potentially in a downtrend. That told us we knew where the next likely target was going to be, back to the T-line. Today's trading, as you can see, did not hold the T-line. Same scenario over here on the NASDAQ, a dark cloud not anything devastating. They couldn't close below the T-line. A potential trend kicker signal had they broken out through this level. But here's the candlestick logic. If you're in the overbought area and you can see a candlestick sell signal, and then you see another candlestick sell signal, the assumption's pretty clear that the bears have taken control. That's what started the sell-off. Now, did we know the magnitude of the sell-off was gonna be this big? Obviously not, but the nice thing about candlestick analysis is it puts you in the right direction at the right time based upon signals and patterns so that you can participate in being in the right direction at the right time. Today, we did a doji, possibly right here at the support levels. However, notice your stochastics are still heading down. There's nothing yet to tell us they're supporting this level until we see strong buying uh, off of this level. This allows us to still have long and short positions in the portfolio. VET, you can see the J-hook pattern. That in itself would be good, but what's even better is notice how it came up today on a trend kicker signal. Remember, the kicker signal is one of your strongest uh, reversal signals. So we started here with a left-right combo, broke out through this level. Now we're doing a J-hook pattern, starting with a, a bullish trend kicker signal. Just makes it very simple. If they start trading positive tomorrow, breaking through this level, we can assume wave one and wave three will be the same. We're pointing out these power signals because on uh, January 15th, next not this coming Saturday. Next Saturday, we're going to do a candlestick mini spotlight training session on how to identify the combination of the strong signals and the strong patterns in combination that provide the power trades with high probabilities. So that's basically just two plus two analysis. You can see the J hook type pattern setting up on SRTS. And it's starting off with a bullish flutter kicker signal. Another strong indication that if they break up through this level, we're going into wave three. Anytime we can see that trend kicker signal, that implies there's still going to be a lot more upside. Notice how they did a trend kicker signal day after your bullish engulfing signal gap up through this level. That implies there's still a lot more upside. And this is in a sector, the uh, energy sector and the uh, banks have come out strong ever since the first of the year. Same scenario on the downside. Whenever we see a strong sell signal, now we've got a doji. If this opens lower tomorrow, the implication is we're still heading into wave three to the downside with a strong bearish doji sandwich that started with this sell signal that failed at the uh, 50. This is just common sense logic, uh, applying all the candlestick signals together to, to identify which patterns we're setting up. Our recommendation to short rely still has strong downside potential. If they open this lower tomorrow, giving you a bearish doji sandwich break in this level, more downside. So whenever we can see a strong sell signal, 
and then additional signals and patterns that will confirm our recommendation to short. Oh, I didn't even type it in here, did I? Uh, um, short uh, pin interest, P-I-N-S. If this opens lower tomorrow, breaking this level, that's still confirming the force of this bearish best friend, more downside. So right now with the market indexes failing at this level and trading below the T-line, assume we're in a downtrend. Your portfolio should be predominantly to the short side. And if that's the case, you wanna find the strongest short positions to go after. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.